Hello oh guys, welcome back to the next episode, episode 2 of our Chaos Theory playthrough. Alright, so what I've done after that is basically just move the Triceratops back in, and that's almost it. Well, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going and grab these guys, we're going to select them all, and we're going to go. So I need to go ahead, and the first thing I need to do is just get these guys going on out. We're going to open up this gate. And we're going to get these animals kind of out of here. So that way we're pretty good to roll. We're gonna speed up here. We're gonna go into our scientist rest station and we're gonna go ahead and rest our scientists so we don't get any sabotages or anything bad happen to us. Okay, let's go ahead, let's release the Strithia Pinus. <laughs> away from opening Jurassic Park and I now hear word we have sick dinosaurs someone offer me assurances of course of course we're on top of it dr. Hammond no, our we're sending out a mobile six, veterinary so unit seven, from the paleo nine. medical facility even mobile as we speak oh. aren't we Lily yes of course they'll get us a diagnosis and then we can develop a cure for the Triceratops perfect we have a plan that means everything is completely under control this doesn't even qualify as a minor setback. Considering all of the obstacles that have been placed before us getting Jurassic Park to this point, I'm inclined to agree. Whatever it takes, see to it. And Henry, let me know the moment this has been resolved. Understood. Lily, do carry on. Thank you. As Dr. Wu said, everything is under control. All right, so we have the stripping moves in here. Now we need to go ahead and make it so he is comfortable in his enclosure. So we just need to add a bit of ground leaf to his so it, make him nice and happy. And we also need to start and just make sure everything is nice and happy and get the roll. Um, forest. Alright, and now we need to go ahead and do our research. So, we're going to go ahead and click on that and get this research on the roll. Remember, this does take a lot of um, certain medical units, so you do have to be really careful with that. Okay, so. These guys are now fine. I'm pretty sure everyone will be fine now. Um, you are going to have some cohabitation issues, which is absolutely a okay. Um, this is going to happen. This isn't um, something that you can actually avoid. But, oh well. A bit of cohabitation issues does not hurt anything. The research is not done. Now I'm going to go ahead and test and you know, look here. Happy Triceratops. Let's try Ceratops you have the quicker you need to get this done. Next thing we need to do is because we're gonna need to start with the money so we can actually afford stuff, we're gonna go ahead and start by increasing our just over on the field. We're gonna get that down, we're gonna get that down, we're gonna go ahead and get a whole bunch of down, just us. I'm not sure which is more miraculous. Bringing the dinosaurs back from extinction, or finally opening Jurassic Park to the public. <laughs> Yet here we are. Well done, John. A tribute it's to us to the park. all, and to the power of dreams. And to the public's ongoing fascination with these prehistoric animals. May it never die. Truer words, Ms. Halford. And now, I want to watch the only thing more interesting than the dinosaurs. What might that be? Observing people seeing dinosaurs for the first time. <laughs> oh, and having an ice cream. Come on then, I'm buying. Welcome to Jurassic Park. There's supposed to be music over this, but, you know. License music and all that. I don't need to get copyright strike. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> what you gonna do? But yeah, there we go. So that is basically the opening of the actual park. 
No, 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 no. You have some things we need so to far. Go. Jurassic Park going. has been an almost unqualified success. However, we do want to increase our guest comfort. We do need this can be toys. accomplished by making sure that when nature calls, there is a restroom nearby. Yeah. Shelters will be appreciated if, and I repeat, this is a big if. If some of our animals escape their enclosures, and the closer our hotels are to the dinosaurs, the more likely it is the guests will enjoy their stay. And we most definitely want that. And we need restroom coverage. So, put the restroom there. And we'll put a restroom right over here. Of course, we need to do with the power, so we're going to put something down here. And now more research is now actually available. Our all my scientists could guess the I'm gonna go in here. I wanna get some bonus stuff. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get this. Meaning that it's honestly makes life so much better. And it's definitely it must be a good habit. And the second thing we're gonna want to do is go ahead and go in here. And you're gonna wanna get the bike path once you have the time of the ability to get it. I was gonna just ignore that, just gonna attack, there's no real reason to uh, dream about. Yeah, we're just gonna skip forward. And we are now making a profit. When a hotel is about to go down, and which we go through uh, so close. So close, but no cigar. We'll put one more down and we should be ready to roll. But well, as you can see, money is now starting to fly up. We're at $76,000 before for our income. And now we're going to start to maximize these as much as we possibly can. Actually, no, we're not. What we're gonna do instead, so I'm pretty sure, yes they are, I'm gonna pause the game. These can just go to help. I wanna get some new amenities in here. First things first, I'm going to place our new amenities over here because basically there's just no minute coverage. We need to make sure our guests' needs are catered for. Let's build some amenities to help with that. There's going to be less appetite for dinosaurs if our guests' appetites aren't taken care of. Now we're going to put this last one there. And put substation right here. Get that all nice and connected up. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. Just new and let's see if we don't want it. The amenity. Get this on the go. Put it into the actual part. That should get us to the next step. It's going to basically max out our income on these buildings and just get it as high as we physically can. 32k from that. So whatever. And then we're going to do the same thing for the ones over here. Okay. There's a lot of here. We're going to put in a farm. That we might be able to get. 
32k right there. So max this out as well. I'm gonna make sure we find a great split. This seems to be the best. Mobility is not done, which I think it is. No, right, we'll slide this in a little bit on that one here or somewhere. Or let's just slide it in right on here. Get it to place in case I can. And we're going to move this down like so. And there is the amenity. Now once this is done, we're going to delete this because we don't need it. We have the amenities kind of going. That's the only thing we need. So that should be pretty good. Um, what else is there to do? Well, now it's going to ask us to get... Jurassic Park sits at the intersection of both science and this. commerce. One provides for the other. So the higher the park rating, the more income we have to support Dr. Wu and his research. New shops and attractions, and yes, new dinosaurs, will make the park more appealing and more profitable. Okay, so you heard him. So what I'm looking for right now is a calosaurus of some description. For a exhibit, but I don't think I'm going to get that. Let's so like a Dryosaurus, Sterecosaurus, and I'm gonna go for you because you're the most expensive cheaper expedition and pressure expedition. 100,000. Let's ship that off and get that on the roll. <laughs> no, 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 no. I won't be able to edit into this again, but what I can do is make it completely exhibit. That is what I'm gonna do. So. I'm gonna head and we're gonna sit down here. And we're gonna cram this full with animals. So what animals do I want in here? I'm gonna put Triosaurus in here, then I'll put uh Styracosaurus in uh which one call it. <laughs> Just to get this nice and fit with a bunch of animals and it's gonna really help us out. We're also gonna have to stick this here, just beautiful because it means I'm not gonna need to put another feeding shop area. And we're gonna also go ahead and just and we're gonna put in another one. There we go, perfect. And I think they just came back and I think they did. One thing is, you do not need to max out the DNAs if you do not want to. And I don't think it's honestly worth your time to max out these DNAs um, such early on in the game. Um, honestly, if you want to max them out, then go for it. But if you're trying to do something like I'm doing, then I'm not going to. I mean, certain ones I will max out just for the added benefit of uh, um, the added stuff you get with it. But I mean, for this, you don't really need to. There's no real point in maxing it out. One thing I need to do as well is I need to go ahead and get myself one of these. And get a ranger post assigned. Get all this going. I should 
Master Chef and keep them on the roll. And let's go ahead and make a new dinosaur. And we'll just stick in whoever we think is the best candidate to right. And now it's just basically a waiting game to just get everything sticked out and done as quick as we physically possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and select eggs, but he will not be happy with just two of them, so I'm gonna have to swap that. Oh, hey, by the way, now there's a new thing that I have not seen yet, so I'm gonna try to do it. Um, I'm going to randomize it. I get two batches. This will not be a not, this will be non randomized, and we're going to be fully randomized. On the room, I'm gonna go ahead and rest anyone that needs to be rest. Which is you. Just ignore this, this doesn't really do anything for you. He's just been a bit of a prick. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Well, no, we're just gonna basically skip forward and kind of continue this momentum. I'm gonna grab two of those. And we're gonna basically let our money grow up in this uh, condition to kind of finish off. <clears throat> so, this is pretty easy to actually start making money because here's the thing this shop right here will start to make money the second you have more animals in. Asset collection request. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna arrow this stump into the enclosure, we're gonna make him happy. And we're gonna select these dinos. And we're gonna put these guys in here as well. There we go. And I wanna think. I'm gonna select all that and get that going once this guy is in his exhibit. It depends. If you plan on playing for a longer period of time, then you definitely want to max up the DNA so you can get more access to more modifications so you can bring the health up higher. But Asset since I don't really win this one is for a long period of time, this works for me. No, it's good that we need ground fiber and ground nut. Now let's go ahead and just get him nice and happy. Just like that. And he's missing more friends, so we're gonna let me give him some friends. En route to pick up the asset. Asset has been transported. And we're also going to extend the exhibit out after a bit. Just making sure we will have enough room for the next one. So right, so we're doing pretty good. I would like to get a uh, Triceratosaurus uh, and Triceratosaurus, and this exhibit will be done. Let's go ahead and get this going. Um, I'll to finish. Not sufficient instructions. Give me the rest through the interview of our scientists and also hire another one. Super expedition is pretty good. Super expedition is probably for I'll probably go for you. Yep, just wanna go for you. There we go. So we have our update team all set up and ready to roll. We have our extractions ready to roll as well. We 
do need a couple more things from you. Oh, I'll go turn it off. That's pretty good. This is with a little animation. We'll just kill. This was a random gene solution. I randomized this one. But it doesn't look like it did anything to benefit it. Asset transported. And these guys are now perfectly fine and happy. Uh, okay, the next animal we'll that we'll add again is going to be Starosaurus. It's only going to take a little bit of time to get that in here. But we have to get in. Not long, but more than one animal. Completely. No, I am going to go finish. I have not finished unlocking everything in the entire game. I do have all the trollers. I have a bottom, I have brachiosaurus, I have chimerosaurus. Do I have chimerosaurus? Alright, let's look. <laughs> I don't remember if I do or not. Chimerosaurus, sorry, sort of C. I do. All the bigger herbivores I do have, so we have to kind of ignore them. Um, all the big carnivores once again I do have, so we have to ignore them as well. But this is where it gets interesting. So, I do not have a Wolongosaurus or a Chunkinosaurus. So, I don't know how to get that going. And we're going to also go ahead and get. I won't be able to do that, but I can at least send out for another to team for Triosaurus. She can do it all by herself, a little less. But anyway, so this is we're gonna basically get this is a go and just try to make as much money as we physically possibly can. For example, this one's trying to do way, way, way better. Put those in split right there, just take it right there. Let's get 10k. I'm just looking to see if I can find anything to watch it because there are certain things you can grab that does increase your overall money but does increase your overall expenses as well. Let me go ahead and grab that and I'll see if I can grab anything else. Not 9k is not bad though. Now there is really no plan with this exhibit, it's just trying to get this done as quickly as I physically possibly can. Go in here, and I would not be surprised if this did not just finish very well. I'm gonna go and grab our best restriction instead of putting them back in the bin or so. So now we're just chilling with them. This is trying to get most of the rest of the animals in here, make them money, increase our financial support. Then the end goal for this one is to get five stars, and it's pretty easily attainable. Let's go ahead, and I think we can do them now. Twenty seconds on that. I'm gonna grab about three of them and put them in the exhibit, and then we need one more creature. The trace manifested, these do have the base plane, basic pattern, which is absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and get that done, and let's grab our Trichosaurus. Yeah, we're just gonna do all that. About nine seconds for that one. About five of them, and we should be to roll. We do have to set these exhibits up and make sure this exhibit is good and ready to run. And what I definitely recommend is you space out your teams because the problem with your teams is that do you have a chance to um, take a very long time? So it's definitely best if you basically space out that. I do know that you don't need, you only need two extra animals, 
We are gonna grab the source because Dressers adds an extra count, but also just gives you more money at the end of the day, so it's not that big. Yeah, we'll start that. You should be done here with quick click. He is. And our bull is direct source is coming at me with the my source and Dressors, so this should be a good exhibit. For these guys, now you can add a sword to this event. But he's gonna need things. First off, plant fodder. I'm gonna get that sorted. Good force. But he's gonna need this one, but he should be absolutely fine. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a dry source now. I was just going to be able to go off to the speed of time. Transportation complete. Just let all of these guys kind of get in here. Mm. Transporting asset. Get situated and we're going to start to see completed. a bit of a profit increase out of these. These guys are good. 97%. Ground fiber. That is what they are missing, so let's get them that. Yeah, the Dryosaurus. They are kind of lonely, but they need ground leaf. And we'll go ahead and move them that as well. Just keep doing it like that, so that way you can increase the bill and make sure they will have what they need. And these guys should be fine in a bit. Sex versus fine. Dry source is all fine, and with the source is now fine in this exhibit. Well, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Um, uh, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you guys in the next video.